What's going on guys and my name is Albert in today's video we got three clips that we are going to break down our main clip though is going to be women getting mad at a foreign lady that loves her her black kings we're gonna check that video out but before we check that video out we're gonna check two other videos that are very important for us to learn from if you haven't already guys go ahead hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos guys don't forget to hit this video with a like guys it really helps the channel grow appreciate all the support let's get right into the first video do not go on that coffee date do not go on that boba date do not go meet that man for drinks this man saw you and his first initial thought wasn't wow i'd really love to get to know her over some dinner and a nice ambiance he looked at you and said duncan starbucks the amount of messages that i get from men that ask me if i like coffee no i don't like coffee i actually hate it i tell you single women keep other single women single i always say that Look at how she's saying, don't go for coffee date, don't go, don't go for drinks, oh, take me out to, to dinner. Guys, I will tell you this, I will be upfront with you guys. There are some girls that you're going to ask out for coffee date, they're, they're just not going to do coffee dates. They're just not going to do coffee dates. And that's fine, you let those ones go to the wayside. A good woman, a woman, a decent woman, a modest woman would be okay getting to know you over coffee, getting to know you over some drinks because she understands that, hey, we're just getting to know each other. So I don't need this guy to be spending so much money on me up front until we know that we like each other. Then, yeah, you can take her out on a dinner day. You can, you know, splurge a little bit. But if I'm just getting to know you guys, you have to keep your investments low because there are girls out there. And I'm telling you, even the girl in the clip, I'm pretty sure she has taken some guys. She has gone on some dates with some guys and, and it was a foodie call. And here is an example of a woman trying to gaslight men into saying, oh, OK, I'm going to take you out for dinner and then ghost them later on when she doesn't like them. So, guys, I will I will tell you this now. If you meet a woman and she doesn't want to go on a dinner date, you don't have to get mad. It's fine. Everyone doesn't need, everyone doesn't need to be in your sphere of influence. Everyone doesn't need to go on a date with you. Just go on. The women that agree to a coffee date, to a drink, the women that are modest, those are the ones that you need around you. Not women that are going to feel entitled to your money. Women that are going to feel entitled to a dinner from you. You don't have to feed these people. They don't know you. You don't know them. They don't know you. She shouldn't be entitled to anything. It's whatever you're willing to give her up front in the beginning. That's what she should be happy to get. Not, oh, you need to take me out to, to dinner. Why are you so entitled to my money? Guys, don't let people feel entitled or gaslight you or shame you into spending your money on them. It's your money. Keep your investments low until you know this chick is someone that you should be investing in for the long term. You really want to knock a woman's socks off and, and, and have her like just crazy about you? You're going to do this. You're going to do these three stops. You're going to take a grocery shopping. Number one, let me okay. give you the game about grocery shopping. When you get in there, you're going to get two cars say, baby, go crazy. She's like, what you mean? Just go ahead. You got the joint, you're going to tell her to go crazy. She got kids or something. She got to get the Zoom Zooms and Wham Wham and Snaps and Juicy Juices. <laughs> Well, you might be in line or you might be standing. She might be waiting on John. You stand behind and grab a kiss on him. I mean, let her know. You just give her the Amax when she get to the register. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me take this. Let me, I got to do this. Let me go grab that. She's like, oh my God, he didn't give me the car. Usually where a grocery store at across the street is a gas station. Mm -hmm. Take over there, fill the tank, 93. Fill it up, my man. Mm -hmm. 93. <laughs> then after that, uh, you take it to a woman's playground. You take it to Target. Take it in there. Go crazy. After you leave Target, you know where you're going? Taking it, get that car detail. You can't run into one woman that been on a date like that. Cause never. I'm telling you, they never. That, look, that's four stops, bro. But and guess what? When you leave, and she cooking that, she cooking that salmon with that with that rice or whatever she cooking, she thinking about you. Mm -hmm. Cause that whole freezer got your name all over it. <laughs> when she crack open that soap, you bought that. When that's them raises, or them, or that near the cleaner mm -hmm. legs and mm -hmm. all that stuff, mm -hmm. you did that. If you gonna go to Chanel and buy a bag, you know, if you buying a real one, you five thousand in. Five in. You could buy a little small one, three thousand in. 
that's the same price point. It's lesser than that. Yeah. That whole place, and I just mm -hmm. said that whole go crazy package right there, that's under the 2500 crazy. Now, let me tell you, this is one of the worst ideas I have ever heard in my life. Do what he's saying you should do for a woman up front, as in just, it's insane. It is insane. I am assuming that he is saying that you're going to do this for a girl that you barely know. Imagine that. Go crazy. Most men cannot. Like, his advice is going to leave a lot of men, a lot of men broke and fleeced. This is the worst idea I have ever heard in my life. Guys, do not do this. Do not do this. You are setting yourself up to be robbed blind and legally. Do not do this. Do not take a woman out on the first day to groceries. Then you go fill up her gas tank. Then you take her to, to Target, tell her go crazy, give her your, what? This is insane. This is why the price of the poom poom is so high just like the other girl saying oh you know what you need to take me out on a dinner day what it's guys like this that make women in the from the first clip very entitled ruining it ruining it for everybody else imagine that imagine no just think about it imagine you're the guy that takes out the girl after this guy has gone out with her Imagine the entitlement of that guy. Oh, well, the last guy spent $1,000 on our first day. What are you going to do for me? Oh, you want to go on a coffee? Oh, you want to get a drink? Uh, no, I can't do that. The, uh, 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 the last guy took me to uh, grocery shopping, filled up my gas tank, took me to Target, and whatever other nonsense he said you, you should uh, take, take the girl on. Guys, do not do this. A lot of black women DM me and told me to stop talking about black men. They were like, Leave our black men alone. They're ours. No one is interested marrying about Filipina. Well, the good news is I'm not here to listen to them because the good news is a lot of Filipina are interested in marrying black men. That's right. So listen to me, Filipina ladies, okay? Black men are super interested marrying Filipina women. Good black men have a reputation of being romantic, seductive, caring loving and sweet that's right that's how black men are to their women where's your self-esteem at bro like if you really had some self-esteem and something really going on for yourself you make better choices than women bro the problem bro you are the problem you think if you get on a flight or a boat and you go over to another country you gonna stop being the problem i'm sorry i'm the bearer of bad news these chicks want you for your money too bro I'm sorry, it has to be me that says this. And I know how many of y'all are going to try to convince me that I'm wrong. This thing that your reaction is to attack the men who are leaving and tell them that they're losers who aren't good enough to get a woman in the West. Yep, once again, it's the man's fault. And you attack us Asian women too. You call us poor, uneducated, submissive, desperate women who are happy with your table scraps and rejects. But if you truly believe we were getting your leftovers, the men you don't want anyway, then why do you sound so angry and defensive about it and try to shame men for finding happiness here? Wouldn't you be thanking us for taking out your trash? And as far as Filipino women being uneducated, we have the same percentage of college graduates that you do, and what you call submissive is what we call being agreeable. Do I look uneducated, submissive, and desperate to you? Well, guess what? There are millions more like me over here, just waiting to have a shot at making your men happy. You also call us gold diggers and claim that we only want green cards to escape to the promised land. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but many of us Filipinas are happy to stay right where we are. There, their talents would be more valued and there would be less fighting, back bending, and hassle. And the irony here is, some condemn this group, alleging that they solely go on vacation for sex tourism and to prey on women in vulnerable positions. This would be a compelling argument. But women all across the West are yelling about how they don't want to clean anymore, they don't want to cook, but instead, they have WAP. They long to feel wanted 
and be the man they should be leaders protector provider go overseas to find women who can actually make them feel like the man they should be who are the women who can make them feel a real man a feminine and nurturing woman who still believes in taking care of their partners struggling with their partners to bring out the best or potential in him taking care of the house and making food the bottom line is we have what they are looking for i don't understand where is the rage from these women coming from why are they even surprised their men leaving when they are the one who is causing it i am a big proponent of game i'm a big proponent of men approaching women i'm a big proponent of learning how to talk to women learning how to seduce women and learning how to get the best out of your dating life here in the western world but i do understand that there is a group of people called the passport bros now what is my thought on guys that go to other countries to either find a wife to either go to other countries to get a better chance at finding love i agree with it i agree with it because i see what the modern society has become what women in the western world have become it's crazy because we live in the world where the man's the man's role is to provide and protect that always stays constant he's supposed to provide for his family supposed to protect he's supposed to protect his family but the role of the woman in the house keeps changing and it keeps getting less and less and less and less until it's like you, you can't even ask her for anything in fact you get women saying they're the table so men are getting tired they're saying okay fine if you're not willing to submit to me if you're not willing to be feminine if you're going to be super masculine if you're not going to cater to my need if you're not going to be a good woman if you're not going to want to follow my leadership that's fine you do you boo boo i'm going to go someplace else and find women that are still traditional and when those men do that after trying trying to work things out with women in the western world and women in the western world won't, won't listen now they're leaving they say you know what it's fine you don't have to listen to me you don't have to be submissive to me you don't have to follow my leadership that's fine you do you i'm gonna go find me a submissive wife i'm gonna go find me a woman that is tra traditional now you have women in the western world now trying to attack those women now trying to attack those men going out there to find love this is just pure nonsense pure nonsense guys let me tell you you only have one life to live you have to prioritize your happiness and if your happiness depend is dependent on you flying somewhere else and finding that happiness do it do it again like i said my first my, my i i always pro propose men should learn game i always propose hey get better at talking to women because if you get better at talking to women in the western world it will actually also help you when you go out to other countries because guys believe you me at the end of the day women are women women are women whether here or in those other countries that people go to visit but the problem is why women are so much different in the western world is because of the laws and the societal construct that have given women so much power so much power in divorce court so much power against her husband against the man that she's married so that's why guys are moving over to those uh those uh those country where they can find love where they can find love and find that traditional wife because the government is not involved in marriages in those countries just like in the western world so guys don't let women shame you or gaslight you into into not going overseas and finding your finding your happiness okay guys that is the video for today if you haven't already guys go ahead hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos don't forget to hit this video with a like any comments you guys have let me know in the comment sections below send me an email if you guys want to have a consultation with me i'm offering free 15 minute converse consultations with that guys i'll see you guys on the next one peace